Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks video. Today we'll be going over and teaching you how to play Neutral Flag CTF on the map Ragnarok. Now I did go in with a full party of teammates, so hopefully um, we can help you understand how to play this game type a little bit better. Now right here I really want to point out a few things, and this will really help you conceptually understand how to play this game. In Neutral Flag, the flag spawns top middle and you carry it back to your base. Unfortunately, the, the score only goes to three. But here is the main pivotal thing about Neutral Flag. If you pull this flag, let's say I go top mid, I pull this flag and I move it all the way back to our base, and I cap it. Well, if I cap it, where is that flag going to go? We're going to get one point on the scoreboard, and it's going to immediately respawn, immediately respawn top center. But if the enemy team has control of top center, they immediately pull the flag that we just reset and pull it back to their base and automatically get a cap. So in other words, whoever has top center gets the next cap as soon as it is capped. This is why in this gameplay you will not see teams immediately cap the flag and in fact the enemy teams decides to pull this strategy on us and what you want to do off the start of the game is immediately go and pull this first flag out and that is what I'm going to do right here I'm going to immediately charge top center grab this flag off the top middle and crush your pack I was expecting to be sniped here unfortunately the enemy team doesn't have their opening rush laid out as you can see we do have our opening rush laid out I have a teammate who's going to stay top middle, possibly grab the Spartan laser, a teammate who's grabbing the Mantis, a teammate who's grabbing the sniper rifle, as you can see Alex on my HUD over there, and uh, another teammate who's going to be uh, trying to be top middle there. Now, this ghost gets almost immediately destroyed thanks to the help of my Mantis, who is pushing top middle. And I'd like to big shout out the Lodging Whale. I'll, I'll mention him at the, the end of this video as well, simply because he did very well in the Mantis. He's usually a player that goes negative, but he did very well with the Mantis here. Now, in this specific scenario, um, I should not probably have captured the flag straight off, simply because, as you see, immediately the enemy team has grabbed the flag, and I needed to be more communicative with my teammates on whether we had control top middle or not. As you can see, our Mantis is put, pulled all the way back to our base. It was up here. That's probably a mistake. Mantis should always stay towards the center or top-ish area of the map with a teammate in support. Now, I would like to point out my teammate Alfred does take down the enemy Mantis here. Very, very good job on Alfred's part. Plasma pistoling the enemy Mantis with a full plasma charge shot, disabling it, and then hijacking it from behind. Here, I'm just really trying to um, get some good shots. Now, when you have someone using the hard light shield like that, you always want to bounce a grenade kind of behind him. I have perfect grenade toss here. The grenade goes behind him and blows up behind him. The shield does not cover that area and so he dies. Now, here is where I begin to realize that the enemy team is not capturing the flag yet. And the reason why is because if the enemy team captured the flag, it would immediately reset top center right here, and we have full control. I mean, we have the Spartan laser, we have the Mantis and everything, and I'm about to go for the railgun. So the enemy team is desperately trying to push up here and re-control top mid, and eventually they end up doing so. Now, right here, we that guy plies the pistols, our Mantis, but we're able to take him out. As you can see, our Mantis stayed really, really uh, frozen there for a long time because he's not using the Wheelman armor mod, I don't believe. This is why you want to have teammates surrounding you when you're in the Mantis. This is where you want to be when you're in the Mantis. You're going to be right here so you can back down if the enemy player snipe you, and you want your teammates to have, obviously, the Spartan laser. And grab the railgun here and get a few kills. Um, unfortunately, what you just saw here of me getting kicked out the third person is a uh, negative part of the theater. I see some people lifting over, and I get a really long, nice railgun shot there, probably on an opponent who's already weak. Um, get a quick reload on the railgun there. Now, I realize um, I'm communicating with my teammates this entire time. Hold top middle, stay top middle, do not move from top middle, because the unfortunate aspect of, of this scenario and this is really critical to explain. I hope you guys don't mind me pausing the film here. This is really important. If we all, all four of my teammates right here, charge into the center area of the map, trying to get to their base and kill off the flag carry, it is possible that we may all four die. And as soon as we do that, we're not going to spawn top middle. We're going to spawn back at our base. 
which means what they're going to do is immediately cap the flag and possibly get to top center before we can get to top center because we have to go through our whole respawn timer. That's the whole problem. So holding top center means that your teammates are going to spawn on you. So if one of us dies up here, it's not a big deal because we're just going to spawn on our teammates here or a little bit back and can just rush top center again and gain control again. So we're trying to be very careful and analytical with how we approach the situation. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of holding this right hand area. Wolf is holding the, the saw cave on the left. You probably should push forward and grab that saw that you see in my HUD there. Um, now right here, I do see an enemy player and I'm able to take him out with a quick railgun shot. Now, here's a very precarious position for us, and this is something we didn't communicate on. Uh, their Mantis does end up charging top middle, and we do both. We all end up um, dying off of top middle. I said I was going to go back and grab the sniper, but we end up losing control of top middle. And this is really unfortunate for us, as you can see, just lodging wells up there on the ghost. He valiantly tries to grab the flag, but the enemy team ends up grabbing it, and they're going to make it all the way back to their base. Now right here, I'm going to really try to get an angle on the flight carrier from the Pelican, but this ends up not working out at all. As you can see, they have a sniper camping in their base. Um, now, our teammates almost get to their base, and as you can see, two of my teammates are over there. I get some really good help from top middle here. Uh, but they end up not being able to pull that flag out of the base. Um, you can see the enemy's teammates still um, have the flag and their base, and we're tied right now. So we gotta be very careful with how we approach the situation. Moving back to more commentary on the gameplay. Here I see this guy end up getting some really good BR shots on him, surprising him. My teammate lasers him and ends up getting that kill. Here I'm just trying to provide side support from the machine gun turret area of the map. I'm trying to keep my teammates alive top center. I thought that dead body was actually a guy, but it wasn't. This is a really, this angle is really good if you can keep alive here, because people lifting over have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm trying to survive here, or the Mantis um, ends up trying to clean this guy up. Um, does a really good job of suppressing him and keeping that ghost away from me. Now here's where, again, I try to get into their base, but I am actually not the catalyst that leads us to um, getting them to cap the flag. And here's the deal, when the enemy players are like this, with us pushing in on their base, they have two different options. They can either A, choose to cap the flag so we don't get it, or B, they can choose just to try to stay alive in their base. But that risks that we could grab the flag and pull it top center out of this uh, lift. That's why you always, if you have the flag and neutral flag, you want to stay in the bottom of the base to make it harder for the enemy team to pull it out the top of your base through the lift. And I was, you know, yelling at my teammates, please, please pull it out the front lift. But unfortunately, we don't end up being able to do that. My teammates uh, laser the enemy mantis there, and I'm putting as many shots as I can into it. So I end up charging into the bottom of the enemy base, and we don't get it. I don't get the flag out, but I do grab this saw, and we are charging very heavily into the enemy base, trying to pull the flag out of their base. We have four players over there, and this is, as you can see, why is this player doing this? Why is this player running top middle? That is because if they kill us off, they're going to cap the flag, and then this guy is going to run top middle, grab the flag, and pull it to their side, and their mantis is going to push up and protect them. That's why I immediately need to kill this player and get him dead so that that doesn't happen. As you can see, two of my teammates died and we were not successful in grabbing that flag. Um, eventually though, the enemy team does eventually decide that they need to cap the flag and go ahead and get it. Simply because the risk of us pulling it out of their base is too great. We have a Mantis, uh, as you can see, Lodging Whale 118 on my HUD behind me here, doing an amazing job um, of in the Mantis over here at the enemy base. Um, really distracting them and getting them going. That's why they just capped the flag. As you can see, the flag just uh, got, went top middle here. So right now, I'm getting a lot of shots, unfortunately. I'm getting shot from all over the place. And I'm going to put some shots on the enemy players here. Really trying to push up with our Mantis here, keep this Mantis alive, and uh, um, keep these guys suppressed. 
right here. I need to pull out my saw eventually and use it. Again, the man's doing an amazing job of staying alive here. I'm pulling out my saw. I really try to take as many shots as possible on the enemy players. Um, these guys are doing a really good job of just staying alive. This guy is the guy who went 2.0. That's a really good job of staying alive right there and staying off radar. Because he's shooting our flag carrier again. Our flag carrier draws. Thankfully, we have another teammate top center who is carrying the flag over to our side of the map right now. I need to reload this saw. Get another really good kill. Just a really good job of using the saw here to stay alive here. The enemy player throws a noob nade right as he dies. And really unfortunate. I call noob nades nades that players throw right as they die. This is really unfortunate. Sort of a last resort. YOLO uh, martyrdom, as you call it from Todd. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I tell my teammates, please do not cap this flag. Here's the reason why. Obviously, they're all in our base. I need 117, 118, Lodging Whale and Alex to push the top center. Because as you can see on our radar, we have three people, uh, three enemy players here. Um, and this is really, really unfortunate for us. 2 for 3 we need to really get control of this top center area. That was a hologram my teammate just threw out. Really good job using that on his part. Um, unfortunately, get cleaned up on my teammates. Um, and this is really unfortunate. As you can see, my teammates, Lodging Whale and Alex, are grabbing Ninja. Uh, they went to top middle way too late. And um, we got picked off one at a time. We needed to all fought four be at their top middle while our flag carrier stays at our base. Because, because we're down a guy. Our flag carries at our base, so we have four people who have to push top center and kill five people from their team. This is why it's really unfortunate. That guy using a really good use of the bubble shield there, who has the saw. Really going to try to kill this player off, and uh, my teammate Wolf and the Ghost does a really good job there. In fact, we have some really good Ghost usage throughout this game. I was really surprised some of our teammates picking up the Ghost and using it. Really good job by Wolf dropping out of the Ghost to provide support fire. That's a really good idea. Um, just using the Ghost as a temporary mobile vehicle to get top of center as fast as possible. A great use of the brush attack here. Trying to support my teammate. I let that my teammate get the assist there as I call him out one shot. Now the um, Spartan Laser does spawn top center here. I'm really glad that happened so I can call that out to you guys. That's where it spawns. Spawns at the beginning of every game. Um, neutral flag, that's where it spawns. So I'm going to try to quickly get over there and grab the Spartan Laser. Unfortunately, I end up being taken out by an enemy player. Um, this is rather unfortunate because my shields are down just a little bit. I get melted by two people. Um, I call to, out to my teammate that I dropped the Spartan laser by the ghost. But unfortunately, it's a little too close to the ghost. So I, then my teammates have to get into the ghost, as you see Wolf do right, or Nick do right there. And then my teammate's going to end up grabbing the Spartan laser. And he, he does have that uh, right over there, which is a really good job on his part. Grabbing that, keeping control of that, because their mantis is up right now, and we need uh, to have control of that. Now, right there, why did I rush top center like that? Because I was calling out to my teammate, hey, um, if you cap the flag right there, I can grab this flag to our side. But thankfully, he didn't cap it because we didn't have control of top center. We were receiving um, uh, collaborating callouts, and the callout came through that we didn't have control of top center. And that was a really good job of my teammate's uh, judgment not capping the flag there. Because eventually, as you can see here, we're down a flag cap, so we're losing the game right now. Um, again, really good job of keeping this guy weak. Uh, that guy should not have popped his head out there as the shield is still low. Right here, I do an excellent call out to my teammate. I say, three, two, one, mark. And he caps the flag. I pull it. Um, but the enemy team has no idea how, um, you know, they do not have control of top center. And I end up pulling this flag all the way back to our base for the win. And guys, this is just really good communication. Um, uh, again, we... We were down a flag, our teammate capped it, I was top middle, I grabbed the flag, as soon as my teammate capped it, pulled it all the way back to our base, and uh, did a really good job of doing that for our team. So guys, thank you for watching this film, I'm going to show you now the after game stats as uh, Alfred Ben lovingly stomps us to death of the Mantis. So here are the after game stats from that very intense neutral flag game on Hemorrhage. Uh, 21 kills, 7 deaths, 13 assists, and the BR tool destruction were my stats. I got two flag caps there. Then you have NS going positive 8 with his DMR. And then you have Lodging Whale, who is normally a negative player. As you can see on his service record, he's normally he gets a little bit more deaths and kills. But in that game, he did very well with the Mantis going up positive 2.0. Wolf Artorius, of course, going positive 6 with the DMR. Gravity Ninja. Definitely a shout out to him, um, doing very well with not only the sniper, but with five vehicle destruction medals. 
I'm sure some of those were their mantises, and that was a really good job on his part. And I'd like to just, if you're curious, go through the enemy KD. This guy was 10,000 positive, which is nothing to laugh at. Um, definitely bigger than some of you on our team. 9,000 positive here. Moving on to the next player. This guy is about 5,000 positive. And this guy is about uh, 13,000 positive, I'd say. A little bit over that. This guy's 2.0. I remember looking at his KD for the game. Uh, so that gives you an idea of what we were up against. And just um, if you were suspecting that we were going up against people who didn't know what they were doing, that should change your mind. Um, those people did know what they were doing. And um, they, they paid for it by staying in their base the entire game with the flag. But anyway, hopefully that game helped you understand how to play neutral flag better. Um, subscribe, like the video, it helps out a lot. Um, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever end of recording. Peace, guys.